Hello everybody, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome back. Yes, welcome back after a long break. But we're back with more of the Half-Life Opposing Force walkthrough for the PC, played on Difficult. This is the original 1999 release. This is Chapter 5, Friendly Fire. Now before we begin, I want to give two special shout-outs. One is to STVYT. He made me a birthday tribute video where he plays through the first level of Doom 2 and he uses my voice or he tries to mimic my voice and I have to say he does a great job at it. So go check out that video in the description below. So very nice. The second shout out is to Metroid Sax 1. He is doing a walkthrough of a fantastic underrated RPG called Summoner. So go check out that. I will leave the link to his channel and the link to the playlist in the description below. So go check all of those three things out. Anyway, let's get to the video now. Alright, let's press the button and go up to the next level of opposing force. Friendly Fire. Now, I have the shotgun ready for this next part, and I just run straight forward to the dark alcove there, because some Vortigaunts will spawn in, and you'll want to peek out and shoot them to death with the shotgun. And that's the idea, you want to peek out. You don't want to be exposed to all of them and have them zap you, so use the dark alcove as cover. Now, if the engineer survived, you can have him follow you to the closed door and have him open it for you. If he died, well, it's not the end of the world if he does die, but it's a side area with some items, so it might be wise to make sure he lives. Though it's not required. And a lot of this mission, Friendly Fire, has a lot of your comrades in it. So we have to use our comrades to help us. So get used to it in this mission. Alright, so head down the tunnel and you'll approach a security booth where you can grab some items from inside. Not many, but some. Before we exit back out of this side area, turn right and you'll see this block right there. And see this vent shaft going to that roof up there? That's where we want to go. To do that, jump crouch onto the block and then jump onto the dirt ledges and use the dirt ledges to get up to the rooftop. Not many people know about this, but there's an armor battery up here. It's kind of cool. Anyway, use the dirt ledges to go back down to the ground and then grab your two comrades to follow you again and then go up the stairs in this office area. Now up here, what I do is I power up a power attack from the wrench and then charge forward. Yes, just like that. Someone suggested that I use the wrench more, so we'll use it here. Yes, that's wonderful. One more Vortigaunt. There we go, that's so fun to do. Now on this desk, there's a pistol with S. Jones. And there's S. Reardon over here. Yeah, two Gearbox employees. And there's a health pack on the filing cabinet. Now here is a drawing of a gun that we haven't seen before. But I suppose we'll see it later on. So that's kind of cool. Foreshadowing there. Now go through the red door, but then run in and run back out. Because from the ceiling, there'll be some Vortigaunts. Well, I... How did I miss you? That's weird. Oh well, you're both dead now. Now, where's my engineer? 
He's supposed to be following me, but... I don't know where he is. Sometimes they do this. It's... I mean, these... These Marines are sometimes worse than the security guards in the original Half-Life. They don't want to follow you half the time. I'll stay here and affirm it, sir. It's one of the, um... One of the, uh, flaws in this game, obviously. They didn't do a good job with... Come on. You know what? Forget about you. You're just glitching in the walls, so... You're not really needed anyway, so... We'll just go past the red door. Now, I have my satchel ready, and then go past the first window on the left. But then toss the satchel about right there, and then run forward. Make sure to blow up the satchel when the alien grunt lands so you'll kill him instantly. Now the red door over here is locked for right now, so we'll have to go through the brown doors here. But have your Desert Eagle ready because there are three Vortigaunts in the conference room beyond. It can be tricky to get the headshots on them, but it is possible. Now in this conference room, hug the left wall until an explosion happens and then peek into the exploded area to get the headshot on the Vortigaunt. And now it's safe to walk around in the conference room. You can even go behind the um, projector screen if you so desire. And on the table we have more schematics of another gun. So yeah. Grab the health pack and then peek your way inside the corridor where the explosion happened. And then there's one more Vortigaunt. You can easily get the headshot on him if you are slow and take your time. Exit. Here we are back out here. So it's just one big loop. So now we'll find this corridor right here and go down it. Well, looky here. Gordon Freeman, Employee of the Month. That's a big honor. Good job, Gordon. Anyway, um, we'll just jump, we'll crouch jump, rather, into the hole here. It can be tricky to get inside, so you'd want to crouch jump. And then go up these pipes. And then up the vent shafts. Now be careful in this dark corner. There's an armor battery, but there's also a barnacle tongue. And I just used the pistol. I can't see the barnacle. For some reason, he doesn't show up in the darkness up there. So just fire where you think he is, and he'll die. And then grab the armor battery, and then jump the gap. Another barnacle tongue. So now we'll climb the ladder, and then once again jump across this gap for one more barnacle so just kill him now carefully peek around the left corner and blow up the explosive crates that will kill the first alien grunt the second alien grunt will start to will start to march around on this platform and I miss with the RPG but that's okay. If you can hit him with the RPG, he'll die. And he's dead now. Alright, so, see all of this electricity around here. What you want to do to deactivate the electricity is shoot the little white circles here with the pistol. I guess it takes several shots. Maybe that's glitched. Don't tell me this is glitched. Oh, great. Um... Oh, 
there we go. Phew. Okay, so, scratch that. Don't shoot at the white circles, shoot at the triangles next to them. Jump to the first purple cable, and then swing to the next purple cable, and then swing to the platform. You can do it all in one motion, it's easiest that way. So just keep trying until you do it. So yeah, don't shoot at the white circles there, shoot at the triangles next to them. I guess I learned something new. Alright, so now we'll continue on. Press the button, get on the lift, and it will take you to the top. Now this room is not that dangerous, there's just two hound eyes, two sweetnesses. Oh, the sweetness body got in the way, and I couldn't get him. But there, they're both dead. So now we'll grab the items around here. And then we'll use the radio. Hmm. Black Ops. Opening fire. Hmm. Interesting. I guess he doesn't see us. Let's sneak up on the sweetness. Didn't even see it coming. Poor guy. Anyways, we'll jump onto the top of here, and then carefully jump onto the little pipe here and go up it. And there's a marine. Shepard, what the hell were you doing down there? Listen, we need to get our asses down to the extraction point near Lambda Sector. With any luck, we'll even get a shot at Freeman on our way out. Now, this transit system should take us there, but the door is sealed up pretty tight. Jeez, where's an engineer when you need one? Yeah, right. Where's an engineer when you need one? See this door right here? We'll have to use an engineer to open it up. Now, don't open up this door. It can be opened, but we'll do it from the other side. For right now, we'll go to this vent opening here and crawl through. Why do we always have to clean up a mess the grunts can't handle? Tell me about it. I just want to deliver the package and get out of here. Yeah, sooner or later the grunts are going to figure it out. The grunts. He's talking about us, the Marines. These Black Ops people are sent to clean up the Marines and the aliens. Hmm, that's not good. So they are the bad guys. Believe it or not, the Black Ops are not our, our friends. They are sent to kill us. So let's go ahead and blow open the grating with the pistol. Now sometimes they'll hear you, sometimes they won't. If they don't, you can get the jump on them by using a satchel to throw in between them and then just blow them up. If they do hear you, just use the Desert Eagle to snipe them off from this vent opening. But they both died from the satchel, so that was good news. Now out here, you want to be very, very careful because you don't... well see this rocket right here you want to make sure it doesn't blow up because if it does it acts like a super explosive and it will blow oh, blow the entire warehouse to pieces and you'll die with it so make sure it doesn't blow up have a laser trip mine ready and then place it on the right side of the wheel right there the back right wheel and then go back into the vent shaft the back side and then just jump. That will get the attention of a Black Ops. Oh god. Okay, not good. Okay, he's dead. That laser trip mine usually kills him, but apparently he blew it up before he even approached it. Thankfully he didn't blow blow up the uh, rocket. Carefully run along the right side of the truck to the right of the back wheels. And then this is very, very exact. You want to carefully peek around the corner over there and see if you can shoot a piece of wood 
that's protruding right there. If you can get the wood to blow up, a trip mine will also blow up, killing the Black Ops who is over there. Now there's a second Black Ops, so just shoot him to death. But yeah, there's a piece of wood right there that you want to make sure to, to destroy. Alright, so now we'll go down their passageway. And look what we got here. Well, let's use the wrench on this turret. Power attacks are so fun, I swear. And see, this is the reason why I didn't want you to open up the door yet, because you'll be face to face with that turret. Now we'll get the medic command, to follow us back through the door with the turret. Because we need him. Area secure, sir. Here he comes. By the way, traitors die, and they misspelt traitors. Way to go, military. Way to go with your bad English. I like how this game tries to make them look stupid and idiotic. Even though that's not the case in real life, it is a, it, it is a neat touch. Alright, all crates perforated. We'll open up the right warehouse doors. And we see an engineer, but he's wounded. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I need a medic. Don't worry, Bad. soldier. I'll have you fixed up in no time. Perfect. That's why we have the medic here. Um. Oh, great. There we go. Man, so many close calls with these glitches, I swear. <clears throat> I wish I could be healed that fast. That would be awesome. Alright, so get the two Marines to follow you now. Oh, I wasn't talking to you. I was trying to get the medic to follow me. There we go. Okay, so... Now we'll go back through the door with the turret again. Now that we have an engineer, he can open up the door for us. Now one thing that I do here is I... is I, um, tell the medic to stay here and then have the engineer just follow me to this door because behind the door, when he opens it up, is a turret. And Who needs a locksmith, huh? Shepherd? I would recommend saving before he opens up the door so you can quick restore and try again. Because it's very, very hard to kill the turret before the turret kills him. But if he dies, it's not the end of the world. He's not needed for anything special. So here we go. Let's see if I can do it. You gotta be very, very quick. You want See, I, I couldn't fire twice because he was in the way. But basically, it is possible to sh to kill the turret in one hit. Man, if we make it out of here alive, sure, we can do more damage. All right, so we'll get the medic to follow us. There's a laser trip mine right behind the corner, so make sure it blows up. Come on. Good. You're not playing that game anymore. Alright, now in this section. This section's the most dangerous we've seen yet in, in uh, I was about to say Black Ops, um, in Opposing Force. Corporal, what the hell is going on here? Nobody told us about Black Operations in the mission briefing. Yeah, I mean, we're all on the same team, right? Right? Well, I'm not sure what their mission is, but we need to keep moving. There's got to be a transit car somewhere on these tracks. All right, so what I do yes, is sir. I Affirmative, um, sir. drop off the Marines on the top of these stairs. Just tell okay, them to stay I'll here this area. because they're not needed for this next section Start right now. Yeah. We can handle this section by ourselves, and we don't want them to die because the section after it is much tougher right, you scout ahead. than this first section. So we want them to stay alive. Alright, so in this first section, 
you're going to want to make sure to use a laser trip mine right here on this doorway towards the bottom put it towards the bottom of the floor right there and then fire like two or three shots into the room and then back up and then wait the current situation is looking pretty grim this whole operation is out of control and the black ops female blew herself up then what you want to do is hide across from the secure access and wait for the black ops females. No! What are you doing? I thought they were hidden. Oh gosh! These females are really... Well, that's just terrific. They're gonna die now. But yeah, that's the idea, is to just wait for the Black Ops uh, females to approach you. And then just shoot them dead. They usually don't go over here. That's, I mean, I've, I, I have seen it a couple of times where they've, where they've done it, but not usually. Not usually. Okay, still got some more. Yeah, these Black Ops, um, the females are able to camouflage themselves and run very quickly. The males are, are, they just have more health. And more often than not, the males will launch machine gun grenades at you, which are just so deadly. Area secure, sir. So really, the males and the females, that was awesome. Headshot. That was awesome. All right, so I am I'm pretty certain all of them are now dead, the Black Ops females. That was just this first section, and I lost almost all my power for my um for my PCV vest. But anyway, find the switch at the top of these stairs and open it up. That will reveal the second and hardest section in this mission. You thought this was tricky? No. <laughs> no. I love your ignorance. Anyway, this will open up. So now is where we want our Marines. It would have been nice to have all four of them at our disposal, but we only got two. So have them follow you. Have them follow you down this now open second section. And make sure they follow you. You don't want them to stay behind. You need their firepower because there's like... Well, we'll find out when we get there. It's horrifying. Make a pit stop here for some ammo and some health. And are you ready? Here we go. The toughest part so far in opposing force. When we cross these rail tracks, there's no going back. We've alerted the presence of 12 Black Ops. And they're spread throughout this whole facility here. So... We'll just grenade you then. Thank you. You want to make sure sometimes... What are you doing? Okay, he's firing down there. There we go. That's what you want to have happen. You want the Marines to stay in front of you or behind you and give you a, um, additional cover. Stupid medic, why is your back turned to the offensive? Didn't they train you right? Alien alert. Get down. Squad, we got hostiles. We got bogey. I'll stay here and await further orders. Thank you. Now with it temporarily secure, don't go across the second set of rail tracks. Just wait. Um command, and then sir. just basically just wait until you're ready with all the supplies gathered, including this PCV charger. You'll need all the ammo you can get around here, especially Desert Eagle bullets, because that's the weapon I recommend alongside the machine gun grenade launcher. Get 
So use both of those. And there's a knife right here on this desk if you need it. If you didn't get the knife way earlier on in this game. Alright, so. This is the second set of rail tracks. Once you cross them, you'll alert more Black Ops. Probably six more. And what are you doing? I need you. Especially with your weapon. Yeah, this this Marine with the face mask, he's armed with what is called, I believe, is called the Saw Machine Gun. It's a very powerful weapon, and we... It's nice to have his firepower. Where are you going? You know, of all Marines to want to get glitched, it's the Marine that has the biggest firepower. Guard duty, uh, at your command, sir. This is frustrating. Because, you know, it's it's so easy to die. And I just want to get past this section to see if I won't die. I just want to get this over with. And I don't want to be stuck with these marines just doing whatever... Will you just go? Come on, medic, get out of the way. Quit being derpy around here. I'll stay here and await Even though being derpy can sometimes be cool. Check your zone. Come on. There we go. Okay, I think he's... Well, maybe not. Affirmative, sir. All right, you scout ahead. Let's get the hell out of here! Okay. We crossed the tracks. That's it. Here we go. We got about six more Black Ops, both female and male. Now you want to be careful in the room on my right, there's a male inside and he always, well, I guess, yeah, see, he always launches a grenade. Fantastic work, Marine. You know, to be absolutely honest, the Marine's AI in the original Half-Life was better than the AI he died, so we'll grab his saw machine gun. This is what it looks like, but we're not going to use it right now. Yeah, go on, medic. Make yourself useful. Now, there's one more male inside here. Gosh. Now, see, the males can't go into camouflage, so it's easier to spot them, but they do have more health, and they do... Basically, females and males have their advantages and disadvantages. But I find the females easier to take out. But that's just me. And everybody's dead. I can't believe I did that all in one go. Usually, and I'm being very honest with you, usually I die. At least once or twice, because there's no set strategy for this. Like, there's no real way to constantly succeed in this. It's all randomized. And sometimes, if you accidentally shoot one of your comrades, they'll shoot back at you. I guess that's why it's called Friendly Fire. And there's some shotgun shells underneath the stairs. Friendly Fire also because of these Black Ops. You know, Black Ops are part of the military. Find the switch and then press it and it will open up the door down there so we can use the tram car to go through it. And uh, thank you, Medic. You've served your purpose, so you can just stay there right now. We have no further use for you. Alright, jump on the tram car and put it in reverse. And go all the way backwards until you get past this arrowed sign and then stop the car and then shoot the sign and then go forward with the tram car to turn right thank you medic we'll see you later well not really make sure to duck underneath this live wire there but yeah, friendly fire because of the Black Ops. They were sent by the military to clean up the Marines since the Marines 
couldn't clean up the aliens. So now we have the Black Ops to clean up everything. Now once you head over here, make sure to slow down and stop when you see this sandbag wall right there. And then just get off the tram car. And then carefully, carefully, and I mean very slowly, you can fire three slugs into the male Black Ops. And he won't twitch if he doesn't see you. If he sees you, he'll run, and you don't want that to happen. So now we'll go forward. And by the way, don't touch the, the, uh, the uh, rail tracks. You will get electrified. Alright, so we'll jump crouch through the window and grab the supplies. I'm trying to think if there's anything I should say about the Black Ops as of right now. I can't think of anything except that they're the enemy. Now use the barrel to push it next to... Well, I guess I got hit by the wire up there. Push it next to the downed pipe and then jump onto it. And then carefully squeeze past the wire there. And we're now able to go into the vent shaft and finish this mission. And that's the end of this mission. I will see you guys in the next chapter. We are not alone. That will be for next time. I'm Big Mac Davis. Take care, everybody.